always in the market for a new way to cook chicken. And this Spanish chicken and rice dish is great because it's really fun and easy and a lot like paella but without the seafood. It's also a lot less expensive and you don't have to have a special pan to make it. I like this dish because it's perfect for weeknights, simple, but it's also special enough when you're having people over. Plus, the leftovers are delicious. It starts with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I love them because they don't overcook and dry out. They're wonderful. We're going to drizzle in a little bit of olive oil, and to that we're going to add up some garlic powder, oregano, and paprika. A sprinkling of salt, a few grinds of pepper, we're going to give it a quick toss. Now we're ready to head to the stove. So as you can see now, we've browned our chicken thighs. Don't they look gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I know, I need those straight out of the pan right now. Right, so we're gonna take those off. And now we're gonna add just a titch more oil if you, if you need it, and I think we do here. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. You just want enough to coat the bottom of the pan? Yep, just enough so that my sausages will brown. Okay. Yep. So now we're gonna add some chorizo sausage. Um, I think chorizo is pretty widely available these days, but if you have trouble finding it, any sort of already cooked sausage like kielbasa, and do would be really and good. And do would be great. And if you wanted to add an uncooked sausage, just just remember you'll have to use the technique of steaming it and browning it before you slice it. Then you would add it. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook and brown. And once that browns, we're ready to add our onions and a little bit of uh, red pepper. We're going to let that saute now until it gets soft. So while we're, while we're letting that saute, I'll talk through the other ingredients. We have chicken broth and tomatoes. You notice I have it in a measuring cup. The reason I, I've done that is because I've microwaved it so that it's already steamy hot. Um, you know how long it takes to bring cold broth and a can of tomatoes yeah. to boil? A long time. This saves a lot of time. Like 10 minutes probably even. And it's not like it's costing you any time. It's happening the same time you're doing your other prep. So once it goes in, it almost comes to an instantly to a boil. The other thing I want to mention is that we're using a medium grain rice. Um, I like this kind of rice and this is traditionally what you use because it kind of gives you that pleasant sort of starchy kind of gummy texture. Yep. Sounds negative, but it, but I like that texture. It all kind As of, opposed to that dry, yes. well, it hangs no, together. dry and fluffy. Yeah, yeah. it hangs together, together. exactly. Yep. And the other thing we're adding is turmeric. Um, I, um, I, like, I like using turmeric in place of saffron because saffron is quite expensive. So expensive. Um, and it gives the color and a nice subtle flavor. So our onions and peppers are pretty fully sauteed now. And at this point, we're ready to add the rice. Get it all coated and nice and toasty. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to add this beautiful golden color. It's going to really make it look pretty and colorful. And we are now ready to add the tomatoes and the chicken broth. We're going to put a lid on it. Gonna go set the table. Maybe we'll pour ourselves a glass of wine. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back in 20 minutes and our chicken will be done. So now all that's left is to stir in the peas. I like using peas because it's sort of like adding a vegetable and it's adding beautiful color as well. I'm ready for dinner. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, for more recipes and videos, head over to 3minicooks.com.